Hello friends, welcome to the second part of the tutorial on making of a penalty shooter game in Scratch. So if you are new to this tutorial, please make sure to check out the part 1 of this tutorial series and come back later. So for others, let's start. So last time what we did is uh, we just uh, gathered all the um, uh, uh, sprites uh, in our project and made our uh, two buttons interactive to the mouse pointer as well and made the keeper uh, go back and forth or left and right uh, on the post so today we will introduce uh, different variables and the two important variables that we are going to make are the power variable and the position variable that will control the ball's position and uh, we will also include other supporting variables for making the game and uh, so let's start by making those variables so we have uh, selected the soccer ball here so let's uh, go to the variables tab and make the variables so first of all we'll make the power variable P -O -W -E -R, power and we will also make the position variable P -O -S -I -T -I -O -N, position variable so let's just uh, drag this power and position variable in their places so power will be on the left side of the stage and position will be on the right side of the stage and if i click or uh, double click on the power variable twice and again so it will give us a slider like this so for the position also we are going to do the same thing double click on the position variable twice and these are the sliders so the power variable will control the uh, height of the ball and the position variable will control the original position of the ball that is its x position of the ball where the ball is going to go in the left side or the right side and power will control the, the ball will go um, above the post or within the post uh, like that <coughs> so we are going to make this position and power variable uh, sliders uh, go back and forth like this from 0 to 100 and if we click on the buttons uh, position button then uh, the uh, variables will stop and we have we will have selected the position and if we just uh, click on the power also so it will just select one of the positions that it lands on so that's what we are going to do so let's start <coughs> so first of all we will just uh, make sure that power and position variables are selected to zero for that let's uh, just uh, go to the variables tab and just drag a set my variables to zero and we have to drag uh, just select power and set the power to zero and do the same thing for the position as well drag the set uh, my variable to zero and just select position and make it to zero now after that uh, we have to just uh, uh, make uh, one of the system for making this position uh, variable just go back and forth for that let's just uh, go to an events block and uh, drag a broadcast message one block and just join it here and instead of message one we are just going to create a new message and now uh, which will be called as POSIT and position as the LECTOR selector. Okay, so we will uh, broadcast a message called position selector. And now let's uh, drag another uh, thing from the event uh, menu as well that is when I receive a message. So when I receive message one, instead of message one, we will select the position selector. So once we click the green flag it will set the power and position to zero and it will broadcast position selector so once uh, this position selector is broadcasted so this code block is going to run when i receive position selector and when i receive position selector now we start the code to make this uh, slider go up and down like this automatically for that uh, let's go to the controls menu and just go downwards here and there is something called repeat until so we'll drag it and just put it uh, below the or attach it on the when i receive block and after that 
uh, we need um, another variable as well to control how much um, up to how much times we need to repeat for that let's go to the variables tab and create another variable called pos id and position selected as e l e c t e d selected yeah and again do the same thing for the position selected also also that is uh, drag the set my variables to zero above the broadcast position selector and this uh, make sure we select the position selected and select it to zero yeah and after that uh, let's uh, go to the operators tab and uh, there is uh, an equal to operator here in the green color uh, let's just drag it here and again go to the variables tab and we'll just drag a position selected variable like this and put here and i'll just put uh, the number instead of 50 i'll just put number one and drag this block inside the repeat until block like this so what uh, will happen is when i receive the position selector uh, we have to repeat until the position selected is one right now it is zero so if we start the the codes inside the repeat until we'll continue on running <coughs> until the position selected is one so what should we make it now so we have to change the position now so for changing the position variable we have uh, something called a change my variable by one so we drag it we just uh, put it inside the repeat until block like this and instead of my variable we just put position so right now we are changing it by one so let's just see what happens so if i click on the green flag the position changes by one and it continues to go on like this beyond the hundred yeah but we want uh, our position variable to go back and forth between 0 to 100 <coughs> for that uh, let's uh, make another variable called change value c r c n g change v a l u e value okay for now and do the same thing for the change value as well just set change value to zero and instead of uh, setting the change value to zero we are going to change the value by 10 yeah and now what we are going to do is uh, let's just um, uh, drag the change value like this and keep it inside the uh, change position by one instead of one we are going to change the value by change value how much it is so right now it is 10 so our position will be changed by 10 if we just uh, start our game like this yeah it is started changing by 10 like it's in the 700 position so uh, still our uh, goal is not complete that is uh, we have to just make the position variable change back and forth from 0 to 100 for that we have to include some kind of logic here so for that let's go to the control statement and let's drag an if else block like this and we have to just control the change value so and uh, for that uh, let's go to the operators menu and drag a greater than or less than sign like this like operator like this and go to the variable strap and drag, drag the change uh, no drag the position variable and just uh, put the position variable in one of the sides of the uh, operator like this and if the position is greater than 100 make it 100 and just drag this position is greater than 100 to the if block like this so now if the position um, value is greater than 100 what should we do is we need to set the change value to like drag the set the change value to minus 10 so it starts decreasing the value and just put it inside the if block next one if the position value is less than 1 then we need to again change the value of change value to 10 for that we just go to the control block 
and just drag a if block and just put it inside the else block like this and let me copy the this uh, operator here duplicate and instead of position let me just put the position on the right side of the operator like this and just put the number here one so if the position is less than one let me drag it inside the if block now if the position is less than one then we have to set that let me just duplicate the set change value to minus 10 to 10 1010 so this is our logic so what does it do is if the position uh, becomes greater than 100 it will change the change value to minus 10 and if the position is uh, less than 1 then it will change the change value to 10 so that it will just move back and forth now let me just join this if block inside the repeat until block like this so the whole code looks like this yeah so what does it do is uh, it will just check if the position is selected or not so if the position value is not one then it will keep on running this code inside the repeat until block if the position is greater than 100 then change value uh, is set to minus 10 and else if the position value is less than one it will change the change value to 10 so that and after that it will just change the position by change value like this so let's see our code works or not so if i click on the green flag look at here so our position changes from 0 to 100 like this and if i click on the position it should select a value right now it is not selecting a value so for that let's go to the position button here and do some coding here so let me go to the events block and just drag when this sprite is clicked so when the sprite is clicked so what should i do so let's go to the variables tab here and drag a set change value and instead of set change value we are going to set the position selected value so if we click we have to we have selected the position that means we have to make it one yeah set the position selected to one and also to um, just uh, uh, prevent um, the multiple uh, clickings uh, let's just hide the position button right now so for that let's go to the looks menu and just go downwards and hide the position button as well and if we have hidden the position button at the first uh, starting of the game we have to show the button as well so let's just show the button here so let's see our code works or not so i start uh, the game now the position value has been changed like this back and forth and if i just click on the position button it has selected a number 50 yeah okay now we do the same thing for the power as well so for that let's just uh, go to the soccer ball here sprite and i'll just copy the same code duplicate this code and instead of position selector i'll just make a new message called power selector power selector and instead of position selected so let me go to the variables and make a new variable called power selected p o w r power s e l e c t e d selected okay and now instead of position selected i'll put power selected here and here also do the same thing instead of position we just have to put power here power here also power and here also instead of change position we have to change power like this yeah and uh, finally what should we do is we go into into the position button and once we have selected the position we have to broadcast another thing as well so from here we broadcast another thing let me just go to the events block and drag a broadcast position selector and instead of position selector we have to uh, select power selector so 
once we have selected the position we have to start power selector also yeah so let's see i have started the green flag now the position selector is changing now if i select the position so position is 70 and our power selector has started and if i click on the power it does not do anything right now because we haven't coded the power button so let's just code the power button as well so we go to the power button and do the similar thing yeah let's go to the events block when this sprite is clicked and go to the variables and just drag a set change value to zero instead of change value we'll just use power selected to one okay one and also hide the button after we have selected like this yeah so let's uh, try our code for the last time so let me click on the green flag so we have to select the position now i have selected the position the position is 10 and instead it's time for the power so if i click on the power button so the power is zero and that's it so our uh, main variables have been coded and we have selected the power and position of for the ball now only thing left is to shoot the ball uh, according to the power and the position so um, uh, for this uh, mechanism we will just uh, code this uh, game in the part 3 of the tutorial so thank you guys for watching the tutorial and i'll see you in the part 3 of the um, uh, same tutorial thank you